Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. I'm into my Christmas crafting. I made a few tags and uh, I thought I'd share them with you before I go any further. So uh, this is a little box that I had made yet last year. Uh, it's a cigar box and I just put a ribbon around it because I was doing uh, the um, December daily with uh, Tracy Fox and I needed a box to put all my tags in so that's what I I use this cigar box and I just wrapped a ribbon around it which works perfectly so I was going to show you the tags that I've made so far so I've used some die cuts that I've had I've got some snowflakes and I used uh, background papers that I had last year also uh, mostly it's all um, all things that I had already. I didn't uh, purchase anything this year. I've had this for, for a while, so I decided to use all my um, my things. So they're all different. It's very hard for me to do uh, two, of, two, of the, two of a kind. So they're all different. So tell me what you think. And I've used the uh, Tim Holtz um, poinsettia and I've used uh, a paper leftover papers that I had also so no waste which is good another one they're like I said they're all different and with the Tim Holtz um, poinsettia we have an embossing folder I uh, don't like it that much because it I find it breaks the paper unless I'm doing it too hard but anyway it's uh, it broke one petal but it's fine here and that's the back this is from a collage I made last year with a um, napkin and this is the collage right here and I made a photocopy of it so I could use for um, exactly this. So I think it was beautiful. I really, really liked it. So this came out like this. Another one with the uh, embossing folder. Some I've sewed around, some I didn't. I have to say, I think this one is one of my favorites. This is a uh, jelly. Um, I was playing with some inks and I made some beautiful uh, papers. I made photocopies so I can use in my backgrounds. So they turned out very, very, very well. I really like them. And this is one, back, one of my backgrounds right here with a die, another die poinsettia and I used um, music sheet for this one and the, fl the flowers from the um, Tim Holtz uh, that broke and same thing here I decided to be fancy made made some leaves on this one yeah, I throw it all around this one I did some embossing. I have an embossing folder. It's got a background with chestnuts and and uh, so I use that one. It's pretty plain, but it's still very nice. And I had a bit of gold gold paper left, so not very plain. Another one. I use some some nice stickles. Did some fuzzy cutting. On some of them plain back this is from a, a blue paper that I have did the uh, the tree in white I've got a paper punch uh, for snowflakes which I I used pretty cute another blue one that's the um, 
the negative of the die cut die it's it's different and I, I and I I like it I really do and this is my last one that I did uh, last night again this is a paper napkin that I I had in my stash and uh, and I die cut my uh, poinsettia with cardstock that I that I had and I thought it was nice so that's it so tell me which one you like best because i can't do the two the same but i'm gonna make maybe another 10 so i can put five in in each my cellophane bags to sell uh and we'll see if they uh, if they sell thanks for watching see you next time bye bye